Hello, my name is Neil Cornwell from YSI Hydrodata UK. I'm here to quickly and briefly introduce you to our new product, the EcoMapper. The EcoMapper is an AUV, autonomous underwater vehicle, and it was designed and developed to be deployed easily by a minimum number of crew, maybe one, two people. Um, the key features of the EcoMapper is at the front, we have a YSI 6 series sonde with four optical ports. And as we move down, we have side scanning sonar. So the main applications of this instrument is perfumetry and water quality mapping of uh, reservoirs or any large body of water. The instrument itself has connection to Wi-Fi for manual control and GPS uh, for location on missions. It's controlled by four independent control surfaces and an external propeller. The vehicle is capable of maximum speed of four knots. The surface speed we normally keep down to two. And, and what are the main applications, Neil? The main applications are for perfumetry mapping, side scan sonar in high detail, um, and uh, water quality profiling of, uh, of a reservoir or any given water body. Um, we can take it measurements from the surface and at any depth, or we can program the instrument to profile at an incline and ascent and descent across a body of water to give a good three-dimensional map of the water quality. So, so what are the main advantages over traditional techniques? The main advantage of the EcoMapper is it's small and compact. Um, it uses limited resource and it's relatively cost-effective. It weighs under 25 kilos, so if um, manual handling it can be deployed by a single person safely. Um, the EcoMapper itself weighs about 20.4 kilos. Um, it gives uh, a good, good range of um, use on a single deployment from a six hour battery charge. Uh, if the instrument is run at two and a half knots it will give you a maximum of eight hours deployed time. As you can see, the instrument is very light. It weighs 20 kilos and it's very easy to deploy for a single person. The mission has already been pre-programmed on the instrument. To start the mission, use a simple interface. Press go. There's a five second delay. Stop, stop, stop. First go. Then it makes its way to the first waypoint. And that's all there is to it. Simple as that. So completion of another successful mission and the instrument just entered park and it's safe for me to retrieve once I shut down the system.